with Yo Elliot. You got questions about strength or just how to be a bigger man, and I got your answers. Yo Elliot. Man moves. Check it out. Yo, Elliot, um, my name's Craig from the UK, and I've got a quick question. Um, what I've done is I've lost um, some weight, I lost about three stone, and then I started doing some muscle exercises to build muscle, and I thought that went, you know, quite good, but then I thought I was putting on a bit of fat as well, so I stopped, and then I just started doing cardio, um, and I'm losing weight, but I find like my chest it still stays there like man boob sort of thing I've, I've always had them and I hate it and it's just time to get rid of them and um, if you can give me any advice or tips on how to lose them I mean I was thinking wait with a bit of cardio maybe do a bit of both and like for weights do incline incline dumbbell presses but yeah I'll show you like what I've got to work with Yeah, I want them to get a lot hardened, lift it, like get them nice and solid basically. Um, but yeah, if you could give us any advice, that would be great. Um, thanks a lot, Elliot. Alright buddy, here's the situation. Um, I'm going to skip past a lot of the stuff that you asked about muscle building, and I'm going to shoot right to your concern with your molesting of the boobs. Why you've got man boobs, excess fat in this area, i.e. man boobs. Well, the problem is all summed up in this little diagram that I created for you here. And uh, I call this aromatization equals feminization. And that basically means that we have, as men, in mostly Western society, but, or, or like uh, industrialized nations, are literally becoming more feminine. We're becoming more woman-like. And it's not just because it's not just because you know uh, because we're so socialized in that manner, but it has a lot to do with what's happening to our chemical makeup and our hormones due to the pollutants in our environment and our lifestyles. So uh, what I'm going to describe here, without ranting too much, is how the there's a group of enzymes called aromatase. aromatizes testosterone, what would be the natural male hormone that would give you uh, less body fat around your boobs, since that's our, uh, our concern, and more muscle, leaner muscles and, and the capacity for burning fat. Um, what aromatization does is this set of enzymes called aromatase converts testosterone into estrogen. So you're, you, what, the bottom line is that you've got more estrogen in your body then you should. And the reason why is because of an abundance of this group of enzymes called aromatase transforming your testosterone into woman hormone. And that sucks because we don't want to be women because if we were women then the world would be a pretty more fucked up place than it already is. We've got to be men in many different instances and it begins with our physiology. And I um, don't want to go too far down this route but we are like I said earlier, physiologically turning into women, and that's why you know there's a lot more feminine dudes out there. You know, uh, especially if like you're giving them soy formula and babies and stuff, and eating a lot of plastics and, and foods that are high in pesticides. I'm going way too far out of bounds here. All right, let's go back to how this happens. And that's kind of where I was going with it, and then um, and then what you can do to reduce the amount of aromatase in your body so that your testosterone levels continue to rise and they dro it drops the estrogen in your body because that's what's causing your man moves. So like I started uh, venturing towards, plastics in our water, in our food ways have, uh, have what a, a pollutant or a chemical called xeno or phyto xenoestrogens, I'm getting screwed up, xenoestrogens and phylates. 
These are chemicals that are used to produce petroleum-based stuff like plastic, like our plastic water bottles and things. Nature, and it is all it's known for increasing aromatase causing feminization i.e. your man boobs also pesticides interesting note about the pesticides in our foods a lot of the pesticides are designed to transform or, or sort of move male bugs and insects towards being more feminine to, to, to not be able to reproduce that's basically what I'm trying to say here so the pesticides are designed to make insects not reproduce by turning the male form of the insect into to produce woman characteristics and uh, and then we eat it I don't know two plus two sometimes equals five but not usually so if you're eating stuff that turns things into women on purpose then it's probably what's going to happen to you also so Foods that are high in pesticides, i.e. Um, factory produced or mass produced vegetables and fruits and things of that nature. You know, there's this organic green movement. A lot of it is fluff and hype and BS. But the fact of the matter is that foods produced without these pesticides will reduce the amount of aromatase in that uh, response, the aromatase response within your body so that you don't get man boobs. So try organic foods. Liver congestion. That could come from uh, a myriad of pollutants in your diet, in your environment. Are you taking medical, uh, uh, medical drugs? Anything of that nature will cause liver congestion. And that increases aromatase. Being overweight, being fat. If it's like success breeds success, fat equals more fat. The fatter you are, the more aromatase your body will create. You don't have that problem. And grains. This is a big one because there's so much soy in all of our bread and all of our health foods, all these brown breads that everybody thinks is healthy, soy, and then like I mentioned earlier, uh, boy, it's incredible how many people are giving their children soy formula, especially little boys at a young age, and then they end up being... The bottom line is if you're giving a baby estrogen producing uh, grains, and then wondering why the boy is kind of feminine as later on in, in life, it kind of like, again, 2 plus 2 usually equals 4. So nothing against gay people, definitely not, but there are reasons why we're seeing a lot of these changes in our physiology. Um, hops are another one. Guess what is uh, made of hops? Beer. So if you want to be more like a woman, drink more beer. What do you do? Will you avoid some of the grains that I just described? Just try to switch to organic foods and shift your lifestyle to to reflect a more anabolic type lifestyle, a lot of the stuff that I talk about in a link that I'll give you down below about increasing testosterone. But it's a lot of lifestyle things, a lot of lifestyle issues, you know, it's keeping your stress levels low, getting enough sleep, and um, sleeping at the right time, eating the right macronutrient balance. There's so many different things that you can do to keep your anabolic levels up, which will ultimately shift it so that your estrogen is low or also keep your aromatase in check. I hope this helps, dude. It sounds like you're doing all the right things, man. You're, you're working out hard. You're conditioning hard. Keep doing that. It's going to be the, the lifestyle and nutrition things that are going to drop the aromatase that are going to allow your man boobs to become man chests. So that's it, guys. I appreciate you listening to my rambling today. It's Monday. I'm a love. And uh, keep sending your video questions. I love them. Talk to you next time. Yo, Elliot.